And we are almost at the end of April now, and <laughs> if you can believe it, and this week yeah. has been pretty cool outside. Oh, and outside. I can't believe it. It's just imagine the fact that we're already almost through April tone, and we're about to flip to May next week already. Yeah. May begins next week. I think it's uh, May the first on uh, Wednesday next week. And this month we've done a lot of flip flopping, right? We've had some very warm stretches with temperatures in the 80s. Then we've had some very chilly stretches like last night when we had frost around. And I think overall that general trend is going to continue the bouncing around as we head into the beginning of May. But uh, this is uh, April overall for us here in Baltimore. Again, this BWI, the official recording station, 2.6 degrees above normal for Baltimore. The warmest temperature we've had this month, 85. That was recorded back on the 15th. The coldest, 35 yesterday on the 22nd when we had the frost. Uh, so far, 3.18 inches of rain. That's just a little bit above normal. I think we've finally broken the trend that we've seen since the beginning of winter with a lot of rain this month. It's kind of slowing down a little bit, and I think that trend will continue as we head into the beginning of May. This is the precipitation forecast from the Climate Prediction Center from the 29th of April through May the 3rd, and they think it's going to be near or slightly below normal precipitation-wise, so that's good news considering the trend that we've been in. But even though it's going to get chilly this week, and Tom's going to show you the forecast in a second, the outlook heading towards the end of the month and the beginning of May is for the above normal temperatures to come back. As a matter of fact, we even have a touch of summer in the seven-day forecast.